One in 35 wide-body flights globally was on the Airbus A380 in 2023, based on Sirium data. With the A380 losing operators like Air France, Thai Airways and Malaysia Airlines, the type has never recovered to its pre-pandemic high. While a typical double-decker sector covered 4,121 miles or 6,632 kilometers, many were much shorter. Let's look at these routes for today's video. The table shown here reveals that Emirates took the crown for the shortest service with flights between Dubai and Bahrain over the course of 2023. While it was indeed considered a standard scheduled service, it had just two round trips for the Formula One World Championship. These few services operated on March 6th and replaced the usual Boeing 777-300ER, providing many more seats for sale. The distance of this route was 303 miles or 488 kilometers. As you can see from the table, Asiana came in second place for operating A380 flights between Seoul and Tokyo Narita. More than twice the distance of our shortest 2023 route, the Asiana service covered a distance of 783 miles or 1,260 kilometers. This was followed by Korean Air flying from Seoul to Taipei, a route that is 907 miles or 1,460 kilometers. Emirates rounds out the top five with a fifth freedom service between Bangkok and Hong Kong, followed by flights between Dubai and Jeddah. Bangkok to Hong Kong is 1,049 miles or 1,688 kilometers while the distance between Dubai and Jeddah is 1,057 miles or 1,701 kilometers. As you can see with the notes in the table, Dubai to Jeddah is an incredibly high-volume route. Emirates operates three A380s daily on this city pair year-round. It's particularly nice that the shortest route in December 2023 was not by Emirates, which is obviously by far the largest A380 user. Instead, it was by Asiana. The South Korean operator still has six double-deckers, with all having returned to service. Each of these jets has a three-class, 495-seat configuration. In fact, Asiana now operates the world's shortest remaining flight between Seoul Incheon and Tokyo Narita. Running daily, OZ-102 departs from South Korea at 0905 and arrives in Japan at 1120. Returning, OZ-101 leaves at 1320 and gets back at 1555. While it inevitably varies per day, the flight time is often about 1 hour 45 minutes out and 2 and a half hours back. If you've been lucky enough to fly the Super Jumbo, what is the shortest A380 flight you've ever been on? Share your experiences with us by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.